This was awesome here in Winnipeg for all the reasons we mentioned. This one had a completely different feel where you were bringing a game to a different part of Canada that didn't get to see it and they were wired for it. And then it was um, visually spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 Tim Hortons It's one of those games that you just remember for the rest of your life, all the way leading up to it. You know, the pregame atmosphere, you know, the warm ups, throwing, throwing two out for warm ups. I know players love that. They're always special. I mean, they really are. You, you get to play in front of that, that many fans, um, playing outside, you know, playing in front of, you know, 50,000 people. Just something we don't get to do every day. By far the highlight of that outdoor game is the jersey. <laughs> like the, the, the unveiling of that jersey and wear it and seeing it on the players uh, for the first time and what they looked like and the whole setting of the snow coming down. I thought that was that was really unique. Again, I, I feel like it was very Canadian and you know to be in the prairies and, and playing outside. Saskatchewan doesn't have an NHL team, so I think it, it, it was a great concept by the league. Uh, the facility there is, you know, fantastic. And uh, the event, um, you know, turned out great. You know, it was uh, uh, just the, the picturesque setting with, uh, you know, just a little bit of snow falling at the right time. My experience, we had some alumni there. Thomas was there, uh, Dave Ellett was there, and we had a, there was a great function before the event where they had a bunch of uh, NHL alum and they had a huge hot stove up on the stage and they're telling some great stories. You know, obviously Saskatchewan has uh, tremendous fans, so they're gonna be, it'll be a great, great atmosphere there. There was something to it I, I didn't fully appreciate or understand. But right away, Nagan Sinclair and Kevin Chief both reached out to me and said, wow, that's amazing. What the honor that those First Nation communities in Saskatchewan bestowed on you and the commissioner and, and uh, John Bean from Calgary. So that's a cherished piece, that blanket. And um, uh, it, it's in my office and always will be. So there was more of a Christmas feel to this thing. Right? and certainly a Christmas card feel to it, because you get out there and the, flow, the snow flakes are perfect, right? Everything visually from the bench, you can't describe it. Now you're just in a fun game. What a setting tonight, Craig. It is beautiful. The snow adds a little bit to it. The adrenaline is running. You can tell the players have been dying to drop the puck. The wind was about, you know, 120 miles an hour, and it was cold, and you just thought it was just going to be a nightmare. And, you know, for whatever reason, we step on the ice, the wind stopped, the snow started a little bit, and the ice was perfect, so it, it was, it was perfect. And seeing the shovelers come off and pull out all that snow was crazy to me, and, you know, something they've only seen on TV for years growing up, and now all of a sudden being a part of it, and, you know, it was just like perfect weather day, and the ice was great, you know, everything about it was just like a great experience. McMaster and his staff changed that green rider room into a Winnipeg Jets dressing room. They deckled everything. Got a nice room set up so everybody came in just, just really felt at home. It was a special night uh, with the snow falling most of the game, being a little cold, I think that was a good experience for everybody too. I don't think that they, they could have scripted a better game. I mean, you know, the photographs and everything that you see of the game, like you know, snowflakes in the background when Josh Morris, he's double pumping. The way the snow was falling and, and uh, it was a good game. We got down, came back and tied it. Morris, he wants it. He's got it. Fires a shot. He scores! The 60-40 split that was Winnipeg fans versus the Calgary fans and Brian Little. That was another thing, too. We come back to Brian Little. He didn't get to play in the Heritage Classic of 2016 because he got hurt. 
I just remember, you know, his mom and dad going out on the ice and skating, you know, with them, and and uh, those are the type of things that um, are special, you know, and, and uh, when a family gets to, to experience those things, and, and and I remember them talking about, you know, how this is great, you know, this I finally get to play a game and finally get to, you know, the outdoor game and the outdoor experience. Three on three again now. Here's a two on one. Kyle Connor has little with it. Connor to little scores. Scoring the power play, but Brian Little has given the Winnipeg Jets a 2-1 victory at the Tim Hortons Heritage Classic in Regina. It's a phenomenal picture, right? The snow's falling, he's got the goalie split, it's going into the back of the net, and there's his name and number. That's a great memory. I don't know if he collects stuff, but he should have that somewhere in his house, right? And if he doesn't, I'm stealing it, because it's just a... Some pictures are just... Uh, you know, a moment in time. That one has emotion to it, right? There's a story in that picture, and it's kind of the story of, of Brian Little's career here in Winnipeg. Two-way forward, that's, he plays a lot of good defense for me, so I'm even more excited that he was the one to, to bury in overtime, because he's put a lot of work in for this team and this organization, and for him to be the guy to, to get that big moment it was just something to be very excited for. It ended up in, in overtime uh, where we got the win, so it couldn't have ended better for us. So all in all, uh, an amazing experience and great result and, and just special. Those Heritage Games really gave us a sense of belonging to the league, that the league was interested in us doing another one, right? Like we went to the league to do the first one and then they came to us and said, hey, that first one was really good. Do you want to do another one? And we're like, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. And they, how do you feel about doing it in Saskatchewan? It's like, fantastic. Memories that you get from that and the memories that are generated, you know, after, you can't replicate those. And those are, those are special, you know, special moments. Whether we get asked again to go to Europe or to China or whoever, sign me up because I think it's important for organizations to, uh, to help grow the game as much as they can.